What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at a brand new video for you guys today. So, we're going to check out this uh, animation, I would say. Uh, this is called Bruce Stew, Bat in the House. Now, I've never heard of this. This is by Bruce Stew Films, okay? So, shout out to him. Let's check it on out, shall we? In about a three, two, one. Hold on. Okay. All right, so over the years in my life, there's been plenty of times where some kind of wild animal gets inside my house and I gotta oh, deal no. with it. And usually it's not a big deal. I've handled birds, chipmunks, those nasty rats that I had to assassinate with a BB gun. But Damn. what do you do if one of those rats all of a sudden grew wings and started flying around your house all willy nilly? I'm talking about a it's goddamn bat. Nobody <laughs> wants that in their house. But unfortunately, Hell no. a few weeks ago, that's exactly what happened. One night, my wife and I are sleeping in bed when all of a sudden we wake up in the middle of the night to a very peculiar sound. Something that sounded like. What the hell is that? The ceiling fan? Is the fan about to fall on top of us? I stumble out into the Fuck dark that. in my underwear, start poking around when all of a sudden I find it. Oh, God damn it, it's a bat. Now this is bat is messed up. It's laying on its neck with its feet up, looking like somebody's drunk uncle and shit. <laughs> I'm standing there like, what the what hell? The That's fuck? the sound a bat makes? I don't remember learning that shit in school. Neither do I. The bat goes, eat, 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 eat. Well, are you gonna pick it up or what? No, I'm not gonna pick it up. What if it fucking no. flies in my face or something? You're what if it got rabies like the one that gave face? Cujo look, I don't know shit. what bats do, all right? They're mean and they're fuck nasty, that. and I just don't fuck with bats, all right? I look over, and all of a sudden the bat is dead, and our cat Pooter's just sitting there like, hey, while Pooters? you were sitting there being a big wuss, I uh, decided right. to kill the bat. And just like that, it was all over. The bat's dead, I didn't pee myself, and Pooter didn't get rabies. The end. That is, until a few mornings <laughs> later, I'm in the kitchen about to make a pot of coffee, when all of a sudden, bam, here comes another oh, bat. Shit. Now, my dumb at first thing y'all oh must God, be by nest or something or whatever night, fuck a bat the cave dead. fucking zombie bat trying to fuck fly my that. face i get on my hands and knees in the middle of my kitchen looking like i'm a goddamn hostage in a bank robbery slowly <laughs> i start coming back to my senses all right maybe this isn't a zombie bat maybe it's just a different bat we got two bats in the house it's still a what, bat somebody playing a fucking game of jumanji in here or what <laughs> you know how pooter's leaping around like a goddamn super that name house. Pooters, calm yourself I woman i'll handle this the whole time my wife is still upstairs in bed totally oblivious to the chaos that's happening in the kitchen so what the hell am I supposed to do in That'd this situation? That'd be me. I'm not qualified cool to handle no this. I need a professional like Steve Irwin or Jack Hanna. Fucking Ozzy Osbourne for Christ's sake. Anybody. Sharon! Alexa, <laughs> what are you supposed to do when you have a bat hey, in the house? Hey, focus. I don't know, dude. I don't f*** with bats either. Eventually, See? the bat lands on a wall. <laughs> Even Alexa. I use this opportunity Alexa to grab my shit. trusty BB gun from the closet. So now I'm trying to Lee Harvey Oswald this bat with a BB gun. I take the shot. Come on, and animate. I hit it, but I don't kill it. I just anger the damn thing. Oh, oh my god, shit. you shot me? Now I'm really gonna <laughs> fly in your fucking face. Ooh. I lock Get myself the in the bathroom like a scared old woman. I peek out of the door and I see that the bat is now in the living room right next to my TV. <laughs> it's crazy. Do? I can't risk shooting the bat and shatter my TV screen. I'm sure accidental shooting because of bat in house isn't covered under the warranty. So since a bat is now holding my television hostage, I decide that I have to catch it somehow. His what ass the hell is waiting for some. Well, how about a big fucking make a 12 foot net that we use to clean the pool? So there I am with this long ass unwieldy pool net in my house, looking like a goddamn drunk. How you gonna get him? I'm knocking stuff off the tables. Oh and shit. shit! Somehow I managed to snag this bat, and it's don't let him get out. Or hoof or fucking claw. I don't know what the fuck a bat has. It's stuck in the net. So now's my opportunity. I'm running throughout the house like the goddamn building's on fire. I make it to my front yard. And I'm waving this goddamn pool net all over the place, trying to get this thing free. Out of my all neighbor things, next door is on his porch bat. looking at me like, the hell's this guy doing? Catching butterflies? I got a bat! <laughs> I got a that's bat That's a big here. ass uh, bat. No, that's a fucking net, you idiot. Finally, the bat gets free and flies Woo. back to the seventh layer of hell or wherever the hell bats live. I walk back inside. Now my wife's awake. Hey, why is there a rifle on the floor? And why is all of our shit broken? Uh, because we had another bat in the house. That's why. It flew in my face. It took our TV hostage. And I did the best I could, okay? And that is why I don't fuck with bats. <laughs> Who does, really? BruceDew.com Special thanks to Don Daywolf. Well, hello, Don. Well, y'all, this was pretty funny because I know damn well if I was in a house and I saw a bat, I would probably leave because I just, I, mm, mm. I've seen some pictures of some bats and they weren't exactly that small. They were some like super sized bats. I don't know if they were like the parents or something, but the, the bottom line is that motherfucker was huge. And I know damn well I wouldn't get too close to it. Cause that motherfucker look like it'll just wrap you up in the wings and shit like on some Jeepers Creepers type shit. I'm not doing it. Fuck that shit. I mean, I don't like bugs either. I love, I love dogs, you know what I'm saying? I'm a dog lover at heart. I like a couple cats too, but you know, mostly dogs. So shout out to the dogs of the world. English Bulldogs, Siberian Huskies, you get the drill. Um, but yeah, this was funny. 
Uh, this is by Bruce Stu Films once again. So if you guys want me to check out some more of his uh, stories, animated stories, let me know in the comments section. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and comment below. Once again, if you want me to check out some more Bruce Stu uh, animation stories, as well as anything else I can react to for you guys, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. <coughs> Hit that notification bell. Follow my Twitter. I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, Lorraine. I'm out.